Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water baby? What's pop? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Monk of Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time here on my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha, how are you? Also, if this is your first time here on my channel, I might cuss a little, might cuss a lot, just depends on what these cards say, okay honey? Um, also, this is just general, this will be from the mid-month of June to the end of June 2018. Um, if you need the personal reading, I have not told you yet. Hit me up, I'm going to get your schedule with so for our range from the time that you actually reach out to me. Um, I do offer same day readings. If you're not getting the same day reading, chances are you're getting the next day. So I don't have no wait time. So at all, it's just my preference on scheduling. I feel like people should be pushing on to wait for some shit you need to know. Like now, like you don't need to wait five to seven days. That's petty to me. Okay. Um, I'm having to um kind of get a little spill for y'all. And I'm mentioning it to certain signs because I'm not gonna make everybody else, you know, you know, get um I'm gonna make everybody else what's the name of Pisces, y'all my babies. I'm having to get a little stiff with my personal readings because the level of people trying to um all of us are family, but the level of people trying to I guess get by or try to be talkative with me in my emails and you know not point no fingers and elbows but you know, be a lot of Pisces you know. and it's more so um I feel like somebody trying to play me for enlightenment if that makes sense I'm an Aries I got a Pisces moon so just like y'all be seeing through people even before I even know you I see through that shit so I'm gonna ask y'all politely before I start ignoring that shit. Um, don't do me, okay? I'm finna have to start stiffening up with everybody because um my gift and my craft is being unappreciated and people are handling me with entitlement. Like, you know, look, I know we talked before and you know I paid for a twenty minute, maybe we talked for forty minutes. So when we talk again, y'all was song for me to be on the phone for forty minutes and you get an attitude like, oh well, that ain't my read yes, boo. It is your reading. I don't owe you shit. If I do anything extra, it's because it's in my heart to do so. Okay? All right. So, that don't make me love anybody less. It's just I have to get really real with people because it's when area and energy can have to start burning the shit out of folks. Y'all, oh, goodness. I'm the most patient, loving, kindest person in the world. But don't fuck with me. Like, I'm, I'm not a gangster, but don't push me. Okay? Alright, let's get into it. So this is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus in cross watches for Pisces. I really, really, really miss y'all. I wish I can come and talk way longer, but I'm having to do things in a lot of the amount of time. No is having to learn how to balance shit out and, you know, pick it up, flip it, and put it together, and ooh, everything just, and finish what I start, okay? So, um, we're going to rock out. Intuitively, what I feel for y'all is... Um, the past, um, a struggle between optimism and forgiveness is the root of both, both, um, feelings, optimism and fear of the what if, because I've been there, done that with you, so what if you do the same shit after my intuition is kind of fighting. A lot of y'all are trusting y'all intuition, but I feel like with these dark phases of the morning, our intuitions are a bit, I don't say, it's, 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 it's about perspective and how you see things, okay? Definitely, because the Neptune energy is definitely an illusionist. Um, and with that, um, a lot of us are possibly having issues with um, female figures in our life, mothers, sisters, cousins, aunties, grannies, like, and it's about healing and Hearing one, hearing someone else, even if you have to have someone mediate a situation outside of yourself and that pertains to love, will make, whatever may have you. Y'all know how this resonates more than I do, okay? Um, but I will say that, um, 
Stand on the optimistic side because there is lessons and I keep hearing unfinished business. Y'all come in and let me know what that means because I'm a Pisces moon and I definitely have some unfinished business, okay? Um, and um, I feel like I'm speaking to a lot of people who have unfinished business with someone from the past, no matter their relation. And there's a feeling of optimism. And then some days there's a feeling of, man, fuck that person. This is what they did. This is how I felt. Fuck that. And, you know, but then the God in you stands up and it speaks and it tells you, like, you know, if you were the creator, you know, and it was someone else or that person making the mistake, would you literally doom them, bind them and into their mistake? You know what I'm saying? Or would you forgive them and help them grow and give be that light to help them shine? You know, because you don't know what people be praying for. So be more optimistic and don't hold on to outcomes based on how you feel it's gonna go. That's what I feel to tell the Pisces. Let's ride. Alright. Let's shuffle these cards. Please Clear, accurate, precise messages, please protect my energy. That's what the energy is going to be. Some will rise the wings and call conscious. Please keep messages of love, spirit, truth, and light me. What do we have for mid month June? The end of June, my sun will rise in the sun. Please, Pisces. Thank you, spirit. What can they expect? Iconic already. Four. Some major shit going on in your life, Christy. Five. Bottom of the deck, I tell you. It's a lot of clarity. In your head, energy in this reading, Pisces. All right. First card I got was the Hangman. Some of y'all could actually be dealing. Some of y'all are having internal mental conflict regarding the Sagittarius. Possibly that in the past rejected you or rejected them. What you don't know is that this energy is going to be reformed, rebirthed, be reinvented in some form or fashion. Um, but that Sag is going to show its face again. Uh, his or her face, okay? I do see that for some of y'all, um, this is being divinely guided. Your angels are with you with this. I feel like this is the person, because it's optimistic energy when I touch this card. I feel like this is the person who I was speaking to a lot of y'all about with the optimism and the doubt. But I feel like a lot of y'all are kind of mostly in your head and on the cool. For some of y'all, this is something that you wish for. I feel like you and this person both have secrets, okay? And uh, with the high priestess, y'all, y'all got the hangman, the moon, the high priestess, the star, the wheel of fortune, the five of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the four cups. So definitely, I feel like for y'all, for either this person or you look at this person as the one that got away, I feel like y'all have been holding y'all feelings to y'all chest and the feeling is mutual between you and this party. That's what you don't know. I feel like there's a lot of secrets that will become out of for some of y'all, y'all manifest with this, okay? Um, with these secrets being revealed about this person. And ultimately, it was to close out, okay, a cycle to, I feel like, the beginning. It was to close out a cycle that was full of turmoil, okay? In order to work on something, okay? To work on something that you wish for, I feel, okay? I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all were really in y'all head about it, okay? To the point where it's really burdening you. Okay, it's really burdening the shit out of you, sad. I mean, Pisces. Again, I almost called y'all sad. So again, a lot of y'all are feeling in y'all head about making a decision about just a Sagittarius. But some of y'all, some of y'all could be hanging in there, um, possibly with the water sign. Okay, uh, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and you and this person, I feel like you intuitively, you and this person are very intuitive. Whoever you're dealing with, they're very, very, very intuitive. And I feel like this person is, um, I feel like both of y'all are very stiff with y'all feelings, okay? 
I feel like y'all being this energy one minute, okay, y'all fighting and pushing one minute, then the next minute y'all working on it. And I feel like for some of y'all, y'all been dealing with each other for four months, four years, four weeks. For some of y'all, y'all been working on this for eight years, eight months, eight weeks. And for some of y'all, y'all been really, 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 really internally conflicted about this shit since the month of May, okay? I do see two eights. Pisces, y'all could be seeing a lot of eights. Like, a lot of eights and a lot of fours. You definitely know this person. This could be someone who you have children with. You possibly you have a burden of situation with in the past, okay? I'm just going to get it. Spirit, please clarify for me. Some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius. I see water here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see um, Aquarius in the building. I see Leo. Aries. Also see Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I feel like if this is a Earth sign, excuse me, this is the Earth sign. You want to work it out with this person. I mean, you really do. But someone burdens the other one. And I'm just gonna keep it real. This could also be in these people. Someone rising. Um, in the chart. Check the charts. Spirit, please clarify the hangman for Pisces. What is this hangman? Yeah, for some of y'all, y'all hanging in there with a Virgo who I really want to work it out with, okay? For some of y'all have, for some of y'all, y'all hanging in there, y'all, even though you hanging in there, you're in a very, you're in a very introspective, like, state. The middle of June, a lot of y'all are going to be really, really, really trusting what you feel, moving on the, the niches or the nudges of spirit. Yeah, because again, you're in the cycle with someone who you possibly rejected in the past and you feel rejected you, okay? There's going to be a rebirth, okay? Or removal of some sort with that person. And I feel like this is coming from a burdensome situation, so it's causing you to have faith and be optimistic, Pisces. Okay? Fear, please clarify the nine of ones. Okay, I got the King of Pentacles and I have the Ace of Swords. So some of y'all, some of y'all, the ones who are being optimistic know that this is what it is to come. Your clarity that you need, okay? This moon, this high priestess, this, this clarity that you need is going to come, especially if you're with, um, asking. Uh, you need that clarity regarding the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong emphasis on the Taurus, okay? But truth and clarity is going to be coming about a burdensome situation, okay? And I feel like some of y'all are fighting to move forward through the relationship. you hanging in there because ultimately you feel like this is something divine, this is something. But I feel like both of y'all are keeping y'all feeling to your chest, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, another water sign, strong emphasis on Cancer or Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you're going into a new cycle with whomever this is. Clarify the moon card for my Pisces, please. Clarify the moon. You got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So what you don't know is what you both want, the secret is this new beginning. You want something practical. You want to move in truth and you want something that you can touch, something that you can see, that you can touch, something that you you want to grow with this person. What you don't know is that this person, possibly a Virgo or a Saturday or a Taurus, an Earth sign, I feel strong, Saturday energy that wants to offer you this new beginning and start over in a more practical way. So they clarify the High Priestess. Okay, for some of y'all, for some of y'all, y'all are not going to trust y'all intuition. For some of y'all, for some of y'all trust me, y'all intuition, you know this is cutting this person off, okay? You already know. For some of y'all, some of y'all could be cutting off, um, or some of y'all, this person who you're dealing with, whoever it is, some of them could be dealing with an air sign as well. But you could be getting truth regarding a situation that includes an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, it could changes around this person or around this energy could be coming. And there could be um, a lot of things that you find out in mid-month of June, okay, that may make you cut some things, some people, some places to fuck off. Here start this. the star card from the price to you. I have the star card here, okay. For some of y'all, y'all got new love coming in from an Aquarius or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay. I feel like this is somebody that's new in your life. If you just recently met a water sign, um, and you're kind of optimistic on moving forward with this person, maybe it's y'all continuously argue about things. I feel like it's something y'all to do with the way y'all communicate needs to change. 
or somebody's going to live, even though this can be really beautiful. This is the person who you pray for, and this is what you wish for, okay? One second. Spirit, please clarify the will of fortune. All these aces, okay, Pisces. Y'all got the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles. Some of y'all, with all the signs that I named, some of y'all are going into new love divine. This is divinely covered. The divine is offering y'all a new start, possibly in an old cycle, just with a new way, if that makes sense, or a new person after releasing the old cycle and the old person, right? But karmic justice is here and it's on your side. And you're, this is a beautiful Pisces. I'm so happy for y'all. All right. Spirit, please clear for the five or one. Yeah. Some of y'all are in internal conflict regarding someone from your past, possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag from your past. It could also be a, another water sign, Cancer, Pisces. Because if you're walking away from the water sign, you're not really optimistic about this shit at all. You just really want to cut them off. But if you just met a new one, don't move so fast if y'all have an issue with communication. It's funny because 1555 just flashed across my screen. Five rings change. Trust the process, Pisces. Spirit, please clarify this eight of pentacles, the high priestess. So, whatever, I feel like the divine is working behind the scenes. Intuitively, you feel whatever it is that you feel, you want the money. But it comes with the spirit of optimism and faith. You have to have faith in the unknown, okay? Just know that your ankle, that your angels are working behind the scenes for you and that you can come out of this energy with your soulmate, okay? Possibly someone who have a kid because pretty much you're at the 10, baby. You are, you, are, you are at the 10, okay? This 10 of Wands, you came from the 9. This, whatever this is, okay, this sequence is going to bring you to the 10. It's going to allow you to walk away from this burden and shit. And walk into a new with your ace of cups, with your ace of pentacles. But first, you got to get this ace of swords. It comes in that offer, in that order, because after this ace of swords comes something tangible, baby. Okay? It's going to bring something tangible only if you open and you're willing to drop the burdens and drop the mental conflict. Okay? You got to make a decision. Spirit, please clarify this uh, six of cups. Who is the Six of Cups? My pal, that was funny. I got the Six of Cups to clarify the Six of Cups. Y'all know who this is. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. Could be the fire sign. Definitely somebody I feel strong energy of kids involved in this. Somebody you got kids with. But, yeah, trust your intuition and look at it from an optimistic place. I'm going to tell you something. With anything that you learn in this life that's worth knowing, you might have to go through some hardships in order to get there. Yep. To clarify the Ten of Wands, I have the judgment card. So some of y'all have to make a judgment call. You have to end something to move. You see the, the family in the water? Water is healing. A lot of y'all got healing coming to a family situation only if you get out of your head and not. You ain't God. How you going to say, oh, I, I just know that they going to do that. You don't know what these people praying for. Vice versa. Whatever it is that you manifest, that you wish for, that's what you wish for, because you just might get it, but it's coming with beautiful things if you allow, allowing, because the offer that you want is coming, allowing, some of y'all got a new water sign or a new earth sign coming, if you're dealing with someone from your past, you're dealing with possibly a fire sign and an earth sign that you're being optimistic about, but you got a new new coming, divinely given to you, like the divine is giving this to you, it could be a fire sign. To be honest, everybody's on the board, but it, it could also be somebody who you got to kill. You could get a redo, and a redo with a chance to renew. You know what I'm saying? So, it depends on how you look at it, all right? Pisces, be optimistic, all right, and accepting, all right? And definitely trust your intuition. If someone shows you who they are, believe them, but believe them not to condemn them. To be accepting of this is who you are and this is how we move from here. Okay, but it comes with a mature, steady flow of communication and definitely faith and optimism. Okay, I see a lot of y'all are really, really connecting with spirit. A lot of y'all are really kind of in introspection mode. A lot of y'all are really starting over with new jobs. Uh, if you haven't started, it's coming in my June. Some of y'all gonna have new jobs, new love, and truthful, passionate love. But first, you have to clear this energy of doubt and, and fears and 
in your damn head. Like, get out of there. Will you fucking hurt yourself? Damn it. What the? Jeez. Get out of there. All right, family? I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all for mid-month June. I will see you in July from the 1st to the 15th. And I love y'all, babies. Many, much love. Many, many blessings to you. And I wish you all the best. Bye, babies.